everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party. So yeah, yeah. that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what's up. What do you mean by that? LeBron, no, come here, LeBron. What, what, what do you mean by that? When he said that, two things come, came into my mind. First situation is him, Diddy, in the pool, naked, with girls all around them, having an all-white party. Second image that came to my mind, which is going to probably haunt me for the next coming weeks, is Diddy on LeBron's laps, girls all around them, around three, 4,000 liters of baby oil on them, on the floor, on the ceiling, on the couch. With the amount of information that has come out about Diddy, I wouldn't be surprised if they were shooting basketballs at each other's buttholes and uh, sword fighting and playing with each other's basketballs. But last time we talked about Diddy, we talked about how we got arrested in Manhattan. He had three major charges, racketeering, shmekshual, shakalaka boom boom, trafficking, blackmails, recording, and all of that shit. And his lawyer said to the public that he's not going to plead guilty. And he's going to fight for his reputation as he's a very respected person, a loving family man. And everything they're just saying about the whole Diddy party is absolutely lie. They're trying to take him down for no reason at all. Obviously, he's going to say that because he's getting paid to say these things. Ever since we talk about in the last video, there's been new updates coming towards there's more people talking about it. There are more celebrities involved and those celebrities are shitting themselves and they should prepare themselves because according to Kate Williams, Diddy's going to snitch on everybody. I'm real excited to see who's involved. Uh, Prince Charles, Michelle Obama. There's also a new lawsuit added to this whole situation. There's a lot of things happening. When Diddy went to jail waiting for his court, when he went to court, he offered $50 million to pay for bail. But unfortunately, according to the reports, the bail was denied because of a flight risk concerns and being a danger to the community and intimidating witnesses. And according to the reports, he was put on an unaliving himself list people watching over him in case he does anything to himself but with the latest things that literally came out today i don't believe that he is going through these thoughts i believe there are going to be very popular very famous very powerful people who are going to want to end him before he speaks just like the epstein situation because after all to this day we still even though we think we know there are still so many we know two percent of the whole diddy party we still don't know 98 percent of what is actually what actually happened in diddy's party throughout the 90s 2000s 2010s there's a lot of shit happening next thing we know we're gonna find out oprah was oprah was but as naked all oiled up playing basketball with lebron lebron james we, we don't know what, what really happens behind the scenes and why do i say that he's not having these sauce because yesterday it was reported that sean diddy Combs is not eating in jail why is he not eating because he's afraid of getting poisoned now a lot of videos have been surfacing the internet Diddy with Justin Bieber when he was only 14, 15 years old. Everything's good? Everything's Selling right. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my numbers. 100% it is absolutely normal for a 15 year old to hang out with a 30 something year old because they, they only do music together. 100% Justin Bieber was, you know, wasn't invited to these Diddy white parties. He definitely did not see some traumatizing things. That's why he kind of lashed out. It's coming to a lot of people's concerns that the reason Justin Bieber lashed out throughout, throughout the past couple of years, the reason he's been traumatized and having a lot of issues is because he's been hanging out with people like Diddy and Usher. And speaking of Usher, I'm sure most of you are aware of this. His account got hacked. I sure made a tweet saying account got hacked and damn y'all ran with it. Laughing emojis, see you tonight and the in tweet dome. 100% putting laughing emojis in your tweet saying you just got hacked and the hacker deleted 7,000 tweets makes it so believable. And you're telling me that a hacker came to his account, you know, surprisingly at this time with this whole situation happening and decided to only delete tweets and nothing else whoever the hacker is also should pay him money for putting in the time to go and delete seven thousand tweets usher should pay him should hire him did the hacker just wake up and decided to you know decided to be wholesome and saves usher's ass what a very kind hacker but one thing you forgot that usher's ass can never be saved and recovered again after hanging out with diddy all these years and hanging out with diddy throughout all these years and living together. I forgot to mention, they used to live together in the 90s when Usher was extremely young. I moved to New York City 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was cute. Now, I would say that I feel bad for Usher because he was too young and he was living with Diddy. And obviously, he went through a lot of baby oils throughout that year that he was living with Diddy but the fact that he deleted all of his tweets just screams guilty what kind of illegal shit that they were doing together that he had to delete it so he will have no involvement at all it's either that it's probably that this is just my opinion the second part can be like he just doesn't want to you know admit that he went through a basketball hooping baby oily lebron james now there's also a singer called ray j he said that i hung out at diddy's parties what schmick sh- trafficking ray j coming clean about diddy's notorious parties but he says there is nothing to see in terms of criminal behavior the singer was interviewed by chris common station and gave a window into his decade-long relationship with diddy zeroing in what the feds say were a licked source so basically this singer rapper i don't know who he is he came forward and he said that you know, nothing really illegal happens at Diddy's party. Maybe majority of people who go to the Diddy's party, they were requested, asked to join the freaky sessions in the back room with all the baby oils. But maybe majority of people had no idea what was happening behind closed doors. What is a criminal thing? The fact that, you know, Diddy filming people and then using it later on for blackmail or even, you know, putting something in their drinks and then taking advantage of them once they have no conscious at all because this is the lawsuit that is happening with P. Diddy right now. So according to TMZ, Diddy and a friend viciously graped a woman at the Bad Boy Records studio in New York City and recorded the schmexual abuse on video, at least according to the new lawsuit. A woman named Talia Graves is suing Diddy, claiming she had unaliving thoughts since Diddy and his head of security, Joseph Sherman, violently went to last stage with her back in 2001, according to new uh, legal docs obtained by TMZ. In her suit, Graves claims she was 25 years old and dating one of Diddy's employees when he lured her into a meeting with him and Sherman alone, which is the head of security, when she says they securitated her and gave her a drink likely laced with a... drug that eventually caused her briefly to lose consciousness. Graves claims she woke up to find herself bound and restrained with Diddy and Sherman proceeding a brutal, you know, activity, shakalakabobo activities. And the person who's suing Diddy and, you know, the head of security right now, she said that, you know, she had to go through a lot of psychological treatment as a result of being raped. She says she never reported the incident out of fear of Diddy and Sherman would use their power to ruin her life just as she claims they threatened to do if she ever spoke out. Now, if one person comes out and accuses of Diddy of doing these things, you would say, okay, we need to see evidence. Where is what? We need to investigate this more. But a numerous amount of people came forward so far until, you know, to to this day came forward and are claiming the same thing. So at this point, this is my opinion. I don't need to see any evidence at all. He did it. He this many people cannot just come out of nowhere and they cannot be paid to come and ruin Diddy's reputation because he's such a loving person, family, and he has kids and he's a family man, a successful businessman. I'm willing to even bet that he did it. Three bottles of baby oil. With the amount of shit I've seen from Hollywood, I wouldn't be surprised that these things are happening with all the allegations that is coming towards him. And the terrifying part is that he can actually get away with it just like O.J. Simpson got away with murder. And another terrifying fact is that fans are worried for adopted daughter that, you know, he's never been her dad legally. What is happening behind closed doors? My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your oh. other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs. Yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. I want, you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted I'm not going to make any comments regarding this. God knows what she went through or if she was involved in this whole white parties or not. If she, or even if she knew about it, maybe he just kept her, you know, at the side with her family and her. His halal side and his haram life side was, you know, at some other time. But I hope she's safe and sound and she wasn't involved in any of the did he white parties? Did he also ask the judge to toss the Schmeckshow assault lawsuit status of limitation ran years ago? This is what he said. Diddy, I hate to break it to you, but even if the judge decides to toss those charges, 
you're still getting life in prison once you're you know announced guilty and i had a whole different image when it, diddy first you know went to jail i thought he's going to be woo! prison showers let's go unlimited check like a boom boom but one thing i request guard here you go one million dollars please bring me three bottles of baby oil i thought it was going to be like that but obviously with everyone that he's going to be exposing there's going to be a shit show so he has to watch his back as we know he's uh, as being it's being reported that he's not even eating in prison but i'm pretty sure you know his urges will get to him and in the shower he's gonna have a lot of fun either with uh, big black cucumbas or a very sharp toothbrush and lastly mick mill literally just you know 20 something hours ago tweeted i want to hire an investigative team hundred thousand dollar cash to find out every specific detail involving McMill name to Diddy case. I also want them to look at who is powering the media involving Mick. Anything to do with uh, Buddy, something is not right. I'm not, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything. Bro literally pulled it. What? Me? There's no way. Uh, how did my name even get to this whole thing? I've never even went to a Diddy party. The audio that got leaked by TMZ a few months ago was not me. It was my twin brother. Was it was a doppelganger who sounded, or was it, you know, another guest? It was LeBron James who just sounded like me. So I'm willing to pay $100,000 cash to investigate this whole thing. The how did my name get involved in this whole thing? 100%. Mick Mill. I don't, I don't know why you're involved in this whole thing, but you're right. After you being so close with Diddy, you 100% didn't even know about the old white parties and the back rooms and the baby oils. Whoever these people's PR teams are, they need to get absolutely fired. First Usher and now Mick Mill and other people as well. There's a lot of other cases that are going to be exposed, a lot of big names. Uh, people like Justin Bieber, they don't want to make, they don't want to, you know, be involved in this whole thing. They're not making any comment. LeBron James, all these other big stars. None of them are talking, but guess who will be talking? The man himself, Diddy. I literally had to make a shisha just investigating this whole thing as I'm a drama addict. And this drama is just about to get better and better by the days coming. If Mikmo is actually right and he doesn't know that he was involved in this whole thing, he probably, you know, was involved in this whole thing and he just slipped with the amount of baby oils that was in Diddy's house and hit his head and he forgot that he was ever involved. There was just too much, too much fucking baby oils. You think Dwayne Johnson has a lot of baby oils in his house? You are wrong. Diddy is here to break the world record. Having the most criminal charges, accusations, allegations, everything towards him. And having with the most baby oils ever to have in any person. For absolutely, I want to know his excuse. I honestly want to know that what he said. What was his response to the whole baby oil and the three ARs that they found? Were they pointing the ARs at the people for the ones who don't put a baby oil on themselves? Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to talk about this more and more. Let's just wait and see what actually comes up next i'm very invested in this whole thing but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below take it for yourself like subscribe you know what to do i'll see you next one